let's uh, let's talk about retail stores, right? So like CVS pharmacies, uh, Walgreens, um, you know, Targets, Costco's, you know, that kind of big box retailer, right? So uh, what I've noticed is that a lot of those are closing down, right? So they, um, I mean, theft. I mean, they, they literally take out these huge insurance policies uh, that help basically offset the cost of the theft, right? Um, and it's kind of like the cost of doing business. I do retail, we just, we're too small to be, you know, th having $3 billion in theft, right? So um, we have Buzz In, Buzz Outdoors, like we'll, we'll tackle you, uh, you'll get shot if you try to do, you know, anything violent. Um, so, which is, we're here in the mid Midwest, right? But on the coast, you're seeing all these big box retailers just closing their stores. And, you know, there's, it's it's basically the laws that have allowed that, right? So, um, you know, like in New York, right, is a perfect example. If it's under $1,000, it's going to, um, you know, it's only going to be a misdemeanor. Well, you have cashless bail. So now you're not even... Um, you're not even getting, like, you can go to jail, you get out for free, you don't really have any consequence. So they can just go steal $999, and then what What are they really looking at for, for punishment? So these these big cities have kind of created a conundrum. I, well, in New York particularly, they've, they've shut down just, like, a large amount of their, uh, their, their, their retail, right? So... Uh, with that, like I think that opens up the opportunity for the small business to come back, right? So there's good, there's good and bad things. Like I don't necessarily, you know, I think it's harder to get behind, you know, Walmart theft than say mom and pop who have the pharmacy down the road in the little town. You know, it's going to take more out of their pocket than um, you know Walmart. No, but, you know, so in America, we have corporate greed, you know, and those big companies are, you know, the profit margins that they're getting are just, you know, ridiculous. So um, if they get stolen from, people really don't care, it seems like, um, you know. So I think that's that's a good thing in the sense of when you look at how the United States has kind of gotten away from... Um, you know, uh, the the small business, right? Everything was kind of specialized. So, like, you needed shoes. You go to, a, you know, a cobbler. You go to, uh, you know, uh, a tailor for your clothes. So, you know, I think that um, the good, the positive out of, you know, so much theft happening from these large box, you know, retail box stores um, is that, uh, they're going to downsize, and that creates a, a, an opening for for new businesses to come and to thrive. Now, obviously, they will probably face the same problem when it comes time for them to get to that level. But it it, it allows more diversity, right? So, security is like the number one thing that really any retailer has to face. Um, you know, you you want to make you the money. You know, you you spent your hard earned money. Um, you know, buying that product to turn around and, and, and try to make more, uh, you know, to make a decent living, right? So uh, you, you can't necessarily fault the small business, but the, you know, these self-checkouts, like, first of all, that's the dumbest fucking thing ever. Like, the self-checkout. You're going to make me, you want me to have accountability and scan my own shit so you can save money and make more profit, Um and make me basically do more, and then you're gonna you're gonna you know get mad at me, and be like and accuse you're gonna accuse your customers of theft and require a receipt, right? That's basically saying, hey, we don't fucking trust you, so you're gonna show us a receipt of what you got, or you know we're gonna have problems, whatever. I just fucking ignore those motherfuckers. I, if I go to Walmart, which I try not to, because it's terrible. Um, the just the experience. Um, the um, uh, you know, like they're like, hey, let me see your receipt. I'm like, nah, man, I paid for my shit. I'm not a thief. I've got, I like, you know, don't profile me because I'm brown. I, that's a joke. Like, it's because I'm fat. Um, you know, 
apparently fat people steal more. We can't run, though. So it's like, how do we, you know, we figured it would be easier to catch. But anyways, um, off on that tangent, the, um, <clears throat> yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Well, that, that fucking sucks. I try not to edit these videos. I'm really just trying to keep the shit raw, you know. I feel like. You know, that's good. But you ever tried talking to a camera? That shit, that shit's weird, right? So it's, it's good to have that interaction. But anyways, uh, retail sales. So, you know, I, I'm kind of excited to see um, the solutions that these big companies are going to do. Or I just, maybe they're failing. Rite Aid filed bankruptcy, but that's mainly because of the prescriptions. You know, they were, they were basically... Um, uh, you know, writing and fulfill, or they were fulfilling sketchy ass prescriptions. So they're they're probably done. Like like a pharmacy doesn't really make its money off of like the chips and shit. It's literally like that's just extra while you're waiting for you know your prescriptions and whatnot. So, um, but yeah. So w let's see how uh, this 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 goes here in the next you know ten years. Um, with these big re retail box stores. I hope they all really shut down and we go back. Like, Walmart has killed more small business than anything else. Which is why I kind of like Amazon. Because it's kind of doing it to Walmart. So Walmart got all fucking arrogant. Uh, but um, Walmart actually spends, like, a shit ton of money. Like, they, I think they're, like, they have the highest paying... Um, um, uh, like IT jobs, right? Like coding and whatnot. So what they're doing on the back end, like they're 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 a tech company, um, and uh, I do find that to be pretty interesting too. So I mean, they're they're trying to compete on the online space too. But I don't know about you, but I don't think I've ever actually like purchased something from Walmart.com. You know, I mean Amazon, yeah, because we know it. But like, it's hard. It is. It's hard to like when you have a location close to be like. To justify like shipping that instead of just going and picking it up obviously but uh, the other thing that kind of grinds my gears is what they do and I've noticed that like all these big retail box stores do is that they basically put a bunch of shit on there that they don't actually sell but they just can ship you know so like uh, you know they and see so like oh well, it'll be in the store and it's like no no this is online only so you have to ship it I'm like well, that's being a little deceitful because now you're just you're just being it's greed it, it kills me like you know sell me what you have in the store and let it come to my door that would be ideal right and don't charge me for the shipping if you can and those big companies can you know afford that too so but anyways um, yeah so it, it, it's interesting uh, we'll see what happens with these uh, big retail box stores. I uh, I don't know. All right, put your comment in the section below. Right? What, what do you think? What do you think's uh, gonna happen with Walmart and Target and CVS? And I mean, Costco's not going anywhere because they just have you still have to talk to a person. And I mean. I mean, I'm sure they're getting theft, but I doubt that they're facing the same problem. You know, we're, we're, we're slowly becoming criminals in our, like, you know, our corporations are, are, are kind of imprisoning us when we go into their establishments, right? It feels, it starts to feel more prison-y, you know, like high school, you're treating everybody like kids. Ugh. Anyways, I rambled long enough. Hopefully you found that interesting.